Hello everybody and welcome to another guide and tutorial for the golden shot difficulty level is hard and we're going to play hole number let me actually look here we're gonna play hole number nine of the young sun gardens this beautiful new course in golf clash and before we take a closer look make sure to hit the thumbs up button also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications for those of you that are looking to improve in tour play and or in tournament play Go to patreon.com slash clash Tommy and sign up to any of our packages. You do find the link in the description down below. So we are going to play hole number nine, as I said, and this is going to be one where we need to use two landing spots. And the reason I want to use two landing spots is because the one in tailwind is not being able to be used uh, in crosswind and headwind and I do believe that the value in playing that spot is really good and that's why you're gonna see me having a little bit better success in the tailwind than I will be having in the crosswind and the headwind because crosswind and headwind is more difficult uh, than tailwind on this part 3. If we do get an hole in one, we get the obsidian chest, we do have the amber chest as the yellow ring, crimson chest as the red ring aqua chest as the light blue ring and then we do have the cobalt chest as a dark blue ring press the question mark on the top right if you do have more questions about the golden shot or you just experience an error about the golden shot or anything else then you can send in a ticket to the golf clash support golden long iron max plus 10 always and the landing spots as i said there are two of them and we're gonna start taking a look at the tailwind and this is with the blue ring top of the blue ring by the sound at complete max line so there, it's those two references that i'm using i'm not using the ball guideline so it doesn't matter if you're adding spin before or after you have set your position and that's only in tailwind in crosswind and headwind we need to back up and then we're using uh, to start with we're adding all the top spin that we do have on our long iron and the reason we're doing that is to be able to use the long iron as sorry use the ball guideline as a reference because there isn't really any other reference besides the top of the yellow ring that we can otherwise use so therefore i wanted to add the top spin to be able to aim right that pin with the ball guideline and once we find that spot we are re-spinning to the spins that you will find in the golden shot hex guide a little bit finicky but there was no issues with time from my end uh, setting that one up and i feel there is more value to adding the top spin than having to just go in completely blind and uh, having to do an even uh, even harder guess on where the ball guideline is and obviously that would create a situation where we will have um, worse consistency in the end which will be more consistent inconsistent all right let's take a look at the shots i do have five shots for you and we're going to start in with headwind and um, in this case a little crosswind you see i'm adding all the top spin top of the yellow ring by the rough line and then trying my very best to aim straight at the pin i understand that this is difficult and it will create some inconsistency but once again if you are doing this type of way without adding all the top spin it's going to create an even more inconsistent scenario for you because it's going to be even harder 6.4 miles per hour is 3.8 rings and as always we're pulling over the bullseye here i'm using uh, only half a left and you're gonna notice here now that we're missing slightly and we're tweaky obviously making a tweak for that in the guide bounces on the fairway and we roll up and i mean in the end we're getting ourselves uh, the would have been the red ring but just just rolls out of the yellow ring so tweaking the side spin there a little bit on that angle getting some berserker balls which in the end is what we are looking for now <laughs> moving on and we do have a crosswind coming left to right we are adding all the top spin and we are uh, doing the ball guideline to aim at the hole or at least we are making the best attempt of doing so and then we're re-spinning and i'm using half a bar of a backspin and approximately 0 0.6 0 0.7 left spin 5.7 miles per hour is what we're going to play 3.5 rings 
center the ball and hit perfect and uh, you will see here with us going short in line which is painful which is also why we have changed to a little bit less backspin in just the crosswind angles but you see here we're dead on line just need a little bit less backspin and we'll be got getting that hole in one but the crimson chest it is and let's open it up and we see some berserker balls and some off-roaders if we're looking at the epic cards <coughs> now we do have the tailwinds the last three shots are the tailwinds and this is the one we want because this is the one that i know for a fact will be the uh, most can i say consistent in terms of attacking for the hole in one 4.2 backspin and we're using half a bar of a right spin or like no yeah approximately half a bar i would say 6.6 .6 miles per hour is four rings we are pulling over the bullseye center the ball and hit perfect and it will be a good chance for a drop you can see here now even if we're aiming close to the rough line we give ourselves some room there because the tailwind is pushing the ball uh, to fly uh, it flies longer due to the extended ball guideline only one it is right that pin and uh, let's see what we do get in the chest. Machete, we do a Firefly, Razor, Sniper, Grizzly, and some Berserker balls. Moving on to the next one, we do have a Tailwind, but this one comes left to right. And we do Blue by Sand again from Max Line and 4.2 backspin, and using half a bar, <coughs> half a bar of left spin. 6.6 .6, once again uh, is four rings, the same exact win we had on the last shot here in the video. And we do hit a perfect ball, it is. Bounces on the fairway up towards the green and the pin, and getting it to drop hard right, but doesn't really matter how it drops, just that it drops. All in one it is, and let's see what we do get in the chest. We do have the Amazon as an epic, and we have some berserkers in the end. Last shot, we do have a tailwind again, a little bit more crosswind together with the tailwind this time. And here to start with, I mean, I'm wiggling around, and has to be said, this is actually the second shot that I'm playing on this um on this golden shot so i wanted to bring that one in because it felt nice to actually just to see how i'm just looking around putting myself in different spots and then in the end let's try something you see here now i'm using four backspin and one right the one right due to the fact that we have more crosswind than what a northwest wind um should have in my like a true northwest wind should have Sent to the ball, hit perfect, 5.4 miles per hour or 3.2 rings, and due to me going around with different landing spot, almost made me time out. And we're getting a nice hole in one, right at pin for um for the yeah, the Youngstan Gardens, hole number nine, uh, golden shot version. Let's see what the obsidian chest will give us here. We do have the dart, we do have the Saturn, we do have the Racer, Hornet, Endbringer and some berserkers and it's clear obviously that we do want to have the tailwind angles that's the one that will be the best and that's the one where we can truly feel that with a perfect ball it's gonna be very close to a hole in one if we have done everything correct i'm not saying that the headwind and the crosswind is going to be impossible to drop quite the opposite really it's just that it's a bit more difficult to set up um, which makes it again a bit more inconsistent than the tailwind make sure to um grab the golden shot text guide that can you can find it in the, the description down below but also on golfclashtommy.com golfclashtommy.com is the place where you can find always updated uh, <coughs> updated content in, content information and everything there is for free we start at the top left which is the headwind and the crosswind angle add max top spin top of yellow ring by the rough with the ball guide aim at hold and reach spin and then we do have the spins that is in crosswind 0.3 backspin 0.7 left spin uh, we do have a crosswind right to left 0.3 backspin 0.2 left spin wind coming left to right with headwind 
uh, 0.5 left spin, no top spin, uh, right to left headwind and crosswind, no spin at all, and then direct headwind, 0.2 top spin, 0.5 left spin. And just to explain, there it's no typo that I'm having 0.2 left spin in the wind coming right to left. It's because when we're adjusting uh, with that wind, we are hitting a different spot on the fairway and the ball reacts a little bit different. And I'm trying to counteract with that by using left spin. Now, looking at the red ones, which is tailwind, start at max club with the top right of the blue ring by the sand before or after spin. And direct tailwind 4.4 backspin or side spin wind coming left to right with tailwind 4.2 backspin half a left wind coming right to left with tailwind 4.2 backspin and half a right if you're looking to improve your game scan the code for the best tournament and tour play guides on the market so thank you so much everybody for watching make sure to comment in the comment section below and let me know how it went for you did you get the all in one did you struggle no matter what let me know and I hope everyone is having good success. Thank you once again for watching. Good luck in your Golf Clash game.